Hoya has political crises. Yeah, they're not the same thing though. If you played Solaris, you'll know what I mean. If, if you played Solaris, you'll know what I mean. Um, the, the crises in Solaris are like end game things that can happen. They have a random chance of happening, and when they happen, you have to deal with them and they do really, really bad things. Um, and, and they're always a really nice, pleasant surprise, because you, you, you get kind of comfortable. You become this like big power in the galaxy, and all of a sudden a crisis happens, and it kind of like, it like makes you rethink like what you're doing is correct, you know? I, I like them. I think they're cool. They, they make the game unpredictable and kind of scary, and I, and I really like that, actually. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. There's much water left in this shit. This has survived the whole game. I think some of these water deposits are probably a little bit too much water in them. They last, uh, yeah, I'm not really complaining, but I don't know. It feels like they last a little bit too long. But then again, maybe it was the map that I'm playing on. Maybe I was playing on too much of an easy map. Maybe I should play on hard mode. We have a food shortage. Food shortage? Oh my god, really? Sector scanned. In Road of 56, the Swedish Free has custom puppets, and they have their own icon. Cool. Cool! Funding received. Nice. Electronics! What are, what are we getting? Food, aren't we? Yeah, food. I think the biggest problem with Hoy, in my opinion, is the game feels like it lacks polish. Um, I'm trying to put this in the most polite possible terms. Well, this game has like some... Surviving Mars feels like it's polished in every way, shape and form. Uh, and if it just if everything just it's so, it's so hard to describe this I maybe I need to sleep on it and think about it but all the game mechanics just seem to work in synergy really well with each other and but with Hoi 4 some of them just feel kind of clunky and out of place and incomplete um, does that make sense And I think you got one of you guys in the chat said it as well about the uh, the lack of an end game. I think that's that's a really serious point. And I think they should seriously do that as well. They should they should add an end game. And they have talked about how they're going to end the game. By the way, they said they're going to try and think of ways to create a cold war. But how would they make that fun when the game's about war and you're not going to be fighting wars? So how would that work? I don't know. But one thing, actually, on a positive note, though, whenever I see the dev diaries and what have been improved upon in Hoi 4, I'm always pleasantly surprised. I'm always like, what? I would have never thought of it like that. Like, oh, my God, how did they think of that? I, I would have never thought of that. Yeah, that always, uh, yeah, it always gives me a pleasant surprise when I always see what they've, when they actually, when they do, when they do deliver and they show you how they're going to make the game and how it's going to work. It's like, it's like, whoa, that's actually really cool. I, uh. I literally, honestly, I mean it. I never actually would have thought of that. I would have never thought of that. Plus, the stupid ability is like Force Attack and Last Stand. See, what really bugs me about Force Attack and Last Stand is they don't make a lot of sense on their own. It would make 
it would it would have more context if you had all the the ability buttons next to each other. The way it was sold to me on the dev diary was that all the generals have special abilities, um, and it listed all the abilities and what things they did and how how they did them and whatnot. Um, and then when you listed all the abilities that they had, it was like, oh, they all kind of make sense. These are like abilities that an order that a general would give, so it makes sense. And when you all saw them side by side at the bottom of the screen with all these buttons that could be selected, it really makes sense. Uh, but then when you start the game up and, and all generals at the start of the game have these three gene generic abilities, Staff Office Plan, Force Attack and Force Defense, they don't really fit. I don't have any problem with the abilities the way they work. I just feel like they just don't fit with the game well. I mean, for a general, because I can't imagine, I cannot imagine in my head, Rommel, because I can't imagine Rommel, the general, being ordered by his field marshal to force defend Sectors and down. Rommel being okay with that. You know, I can't imagine that in my head. I, I had some, I don't know, I read something about Rommel being honorable and apparently Hitler had this, um, had this action where he was, he all captured commandos by the British army would to be assassinated. And apparently Rommel refused to commit that order, apparently. So I guess there's a there's a level of chival chivalry there. So I got the impression that why would he commit his own troops to be sacrificed? It was that if Hitler assumed direct control. Right. Oh my god, look at all this shit here, all the supplies. I, I I just felt like those those three abilities on their own seem out of place. But if you had all the abilities lined up from left to right, all of them, I think there's about eight of them in total, it kind of makes sense. Uh, it just seems strange to me how those three seem to make a uh, for because I mean there's there's a, a background for one of the generals called Reckless. So Reckless would that make more sense? To give him the force attack or force defendability because that would match into his personality. So only he could do that. And the staff office plan is just kind of weird in my opinion. I don't get it. Staff office plan needs to have a drawback. It feels too easy. Yeah, in my opinion, I think Staff Office Plan needs to have some kind of pen penalty to it. Like, you know, like in Blitzcrank in League of Legends, he has an ability that's called, like, Overpower or something, which he gets, like, a speed boost when he's using it, and he gets attack speed boost as well. But when the, the power burns out, he suffers from a speed reduction for a short period of time, like a, like a burnout. It would kind of make sense if, like, Staff Office Plan worked like that. Like, it gave you this massive amount of... Uh, planning bonus for like seven days but for the last two days you uh, you you don't you don't you gain half as much uh planning bonus as if you never run the ability at all something like that i don't know i have to think about that I don't think I really buy into the idea that... Yeah, I'm not sure if I buy directly into the idea of that when you're using a command ability, it means that the, the leader of the nation is, is assuming direct control. I'm not sure if I buy into that idea.
Oh, I thought this was going to be a, a farm. I've just realised, I've just totally forgot the reason why I bought it. This was going to be a massive farm, wasn't it? Oh shit, I've totally forgot what I was doing. This is how tired I am right now. We have a power shortage. We totally out of power right now. No. I think our uh, the not enough power. What? Ugh, we're gonna have to make some turbines again. I don't understand why we're low power right now. Um, I don't think that's true, you know. I was in Boko's Discord maybe about a few weeks back, and uh, oh, actually, I played Waking the Tiger with him actually on pre-release. Actually, uh, I jumped into one of his games, and I don't think that's actually true. It comes across from watching Boko's video that it's very chaotic and there's lots of shit going down all the way left, right, and center. But that's not actually true. When I jumped into one of his games, they they were debating the rules quite heavily. That there's a lot more structure to their games than they make out. Maybe it just doesn't look that way on the YouTube videos because it, it kind of gives the impression of chaos, you know. But now th there's a lot more structure that goes into his videos that you you, you won't probably see. Did we do the rock one? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that is down to Boko, actually. Yeah, so... On, on a side note, yeah, I agree. The games are structured with the rules. Uh, but he does invite people to his games that are quite toxic, and that usually results in games getting derailed quite heavily. I think he's... I don't know about that. I think recently he has put stamped his foot down on that and stopped that from happening. Because there's a lot of troublemakers that he doesn't invite to his games anymore. Well, in saying that, I think last time I checked, he was pulling more views per month than I was. Maybe that's the Isoro's effect, maybe, I'm not sure, but he's uh, he's got a more successful channel than me, so uh, credit where credit's due, I guess. Where the hell is Quinoa? Fuck you and your Quinoa. I don't care about your Quinoas. Soybeans. Zikwon. Soybeans. Worn. Space is full. Can someone move the frickin'... What's this? Where is the rare metals? Uh, electronics. Oh, they're here. Yeah, can someone move these, please? There's... There's, please, please. Smithy is currently getting shit on. I've lost track of the characters in Boko. It's almost like a bit like a sitcom. There's like so many different characters. I lost, lose track of them. I know Brom was like a big character at one bit. 
<laughs> it is just like a sitcom, is it? Like there's, every now and then you hear like like these character arcs of new characters that he's in these games. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We have a power shortage. We have a power shortage. Oops, I muted. Do I even know how to survive, bro? Bro, I'm working on it, all right? I'm working on it, all right? Give me time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm working on it, all right? Surviving what? How are you have to survive and there's food everywhere? Hang on, are we having trouble with food? Shit, we are having trouble with food. Fuck. <sighs> I delete one freaking farm, okay? One farm, and then it all goes to shit, doesn't it? We have a just oh, we're actually just got some soybeans we're about to finish. Building is deteriorated. I need electronics. Got a lot of electronics. We're a bit low on metals at the moment. <laughs> Give it time. Yeah, we, we, we've already kind of completed the end game crisis anyway. Uh, I'm just, I just want to complete a wonder, then I'm done. When I'm, when I've done my wonder, I'll, I'll GG out and tap out, and then we're done. Then we're done. Increase storage capabilities. Enable deep scan. I think deep scan needs to be further up here. You know, I feel like it's too far. Too far up. Increases the comfort of buildings by 10. Oh, that's an upgrade for the residences. I don't understand the space elevator. It's technically a lift though, isn't it? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Dave. What are you doing? Oh no. We're producing way too much freaking food right now. Um, fuel. We have a power shortage. Meteor shower incoming. If this hits my my main three four domes, I'm gonna be triggered. Why does this dome have no power? Research complete. Ugh. <coughs> Sector scanned. Milestone achieved. What's the milestone? Oh, scanned all sectors. Nice. Hey, we scanned the map. Where, really, boys? It has all been scanned until we get deep scanning, which we can scan it all again. Hey, hey. Hey. What's the production right now? Fill up the storage. Double the storage. 
Oh no, our water extractor's broken. We're, we're using all these extractors. Wow. Oh wow, okay. Uh, do you got a question? Will you ever do another beer hoi for MP? Is it like an Arky game or a Limits Rules one? Um, no, the pawn I'm planning for next Sunday is going to be uh, a more limited game with less people in it. Probably maximum of 10 people, probably. Dust storm approaching. Um, yeah, I'll have about 10 people in it. And it'll be like a... It'll be kind of like an Anarchy game where the rules and the goals are a lot more predefined in advance. So that way... Uh, so that way uh, the games won't go on as long. I can't do long games. I like Tommy K, for instance. He loves his long games. And it's his thing. But I can't do them. They're not my. They're not my cup of tea. I'm Pana Masculin, and you're listening to Mars Official Radio, your reliable source for the music you love. Yeah, I can't really stomach like six-hour games. But you let followers in. It all depends on if how many people we get subscribers in. Subs always get first picks, uh, but depending, just depends on how many people we get. So the answer is depends. We have a power shortage. We're having a lot of power problems, aren't we? Someone joked we found kryptonite. It was because of the greenish-yellow hue of the beryl crystals. The total nodes in the physics tree is gaining an extra 10% boost. Wow. That was an anomaly, by the way. That wasn't one of the main quests. It'd be really nice if you could just drag this. You know, like, you can drag, like, residential areas in Surviving Mars. What am I even talking about? <laughs> in City Skylands, you can, you can drag residential and industrial areas, can't you? I'd be, I'd be saying it'd be kind of cool if you could do that in this. Try the rock! <coughs> Anomaly has been analyzed. I think that's one thing about this game that's actually pretty good. They kind of know that you're going to play for very long periods of time, so they build they build in like different radio stations with different music. I think that's a really smart idea. I like that a lot. I do like that a lot. I like it a lot. We are eating food pretty quick. 75 food consumption per day. <laughs> what? <coughs> <coughs> I think making expanding them into new domes is actually probably hurting me while well it's helping me. 
You low on food? No active research. Research complete. Colonists has just snapped. Increase the birth rate in the dome. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. That would be terrible. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. Let's do not do that. Where's the rocket? Was that where did we put the rocket? Yeah, wasn't it? Okay. All the food trucks here. Let me guess you're gonna get lost. I knew you'd get lost. How did I know that? How did I know? How did I know? Vehicle battery low. Okay, I think it's reached a point in the game now, guys, that I think it would be really a good idea. I mean, it would really, 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 really be a good idea if I made some drones for my drone hubs. That would be a good idea. Oh. Oh, because the meteorites, of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. I'm getting a bit nervous about my food production here. I think we're gonna, gonna put you guys on steroids. See what happens. Go faster. Meteor shower. Actually, where is the meteor shower? In the west, east, west, east, est, west. Buildings that have got no food in them. God, we're consuming so much food. Will I let followers in? I don't know. 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 <sighs> We're not having power problems now. I guess we can kill all these now. No, you don't need to do these anymore. There you go. It's all pretty now as well. Might want to repair this one though. And this one, and this one. Okay, we're a little bit low on metal, but nothing else. Did this have food on it a bit a while ago? As the shuttles grabbed all the food off this transport, and they are, haven't they? Anomaly analyzed. Anomaly analyzed. Oh no, we've got a colonist. Is just a colonist has just snapped. Dodge the meteorites. Can he do it? Can he dodge the meteorites? This is a little bit cheesy, in my honest opinion. This is almost like a little mini game that's in here, isn't it? I can like dodge the meteorite. If I see it coming down, I can just dodge it. Resources are low. Research complete. Anomaly analyzed. It's so weird playing a game where no one's committed suicide. But that's the bonus of being religious, isn't it? The Geoscape Dome. I don't understand why is... I like the name of the Mega Dome more than the Geoscape Dome. I mean, I would have called the Geoscape Dome the the Mega Dome and switched the names around. I don't know. One just sounds more epic, in my opinion.
Okay, we need uh, metal. I don't think we have much metal though, do we? Nope. Probably overwork him at this point in the game. Probably isn't a smart idea. I don't know. Oh, well, we have a lot of rare metals, I'll give you that. Ah, oh, we're having a bit of a problem when it comes down to uh, production of stuffs here, aren't we? I'm still here, but not typing. I'm still here, but I'm not really here. I'm probably micro sleeping right now. Research complete. Select a sector. Oh, Rescannerino. I always saw that you like. I thought I did think. Okay, start again. Start sentence, Dave. Rewind. Okay, so I did think a little bit earlier on. That I was like, oh, I should d delete my uh, sensor towers, shouldn't I? I'm like, no, you don't delete the sensor towers, Dave. Because you use them again when you do the double scan. When you do the deep scan. <laughs> the deep scan. Oh, we're losing water. Crap. How much water do we need for? A colonist has died. No! How did he die? Starved. That's pretty bad. I deleted that one farm. All right, that one freaking farm. And look what happened. Look what happened. That electronics. Can you move all this food out, please? A colonist has just snapped. I think the narration of this game is actually pretty good, actually. The, uh, the guy who does the narration feels, I don't know, he feels quite passionate about the subjects he's talking about. I don't know, it, it really does lead you to be being more connected with the game, which I really like. He had low health. Oh, he had a chronic condition. Oh, I can relate to that one, guys. Oh, it's relatable. Rocket man. The religious people don't mind being overworked. I've never. This feels like a really easy version of the game. I don't know. I feel like I'm. I'm getting away with a lot of things I wouldn't normally get away with in this game. This dome needs apartments because it's already full. Fills. Fills. Colonist has died. No! Well, to be honest with you, this is not all that bad, really, because, I mean, we need to weedle down them. Colonist deaths are a worrisome Each, uh, I don't care. We, we, we've not even had a, a rocket in a while that's actually had people from Earth. So, I, I don't think we need to care about applicants, to be honest with you. Actually, let's have a look at the applicants. Oh, we can't, because we've not got a rocket. Okay. Low on food and metal. Yeah, I'm aware Research of that. Complete. I'm aware of that. No deposits. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, that was really bad. Oh, wow. The, those metal deposits just disappeared in an instant. Oh, God. Are we going to have metal problems now? We're going to have to expand for some more metal, aren't we? Low. Average. High. We can put a dome here. Resources are low. Oh, frick the frickin' metal. Ah, uh, we need to transport this. How are we gonna get over here? That's the problem, though. We could, we could put a tunnel. Is it gonna be a tunnel? A colonist has died. 
I honestly don't think it's a big deal if we lose colonists at this point. We are a little bit overpopulated and we need to thin the numbers out. Uh, that is an ideal. It's a actually a little bit too far to now think about it. What about this one? Is there a, I want to just complete the wonder, then we're done. Funding received. A colonist has died. We we have no metal. We have no metal. I'm just curious to see the prices. Is the food is the cheapest? Oh, but it's heavy. It's really heavy. Ah, okay. God, we still need a lot of metal to build this Omega Telescope. Omega Scope. I love the name of it. Sounds good. I like it. A colonist has died. All right, we're having a bit of problem with food, guys. Can we sort that out? We're making it all the way around, but we can't even build a tunnel here, so I don't even know why I'm doing it. Oh, uh, go back, go back. Why are they moving to the south? Why are they moving southwards? I don't know why they're moving to the south domes. The south domes are the ones that are the most chaotic. He dead. He dead. Oh! Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. No active research. Oh, that's the painted one. Oops. The microfusion produces colossal amount of power. It provides light for the nearby solar panels during the dark hours and heats the surrounding area. Consumes vast amounts of water on startup. Okay. Decorations of increased service comfort. Nice. So the two su southern domes are having a, cr a massive issue. We have a food shortage. With food. Resources are low. A colonist has died. Hmm. A colonist has died. Sector scanned. Oh boy. Anomaly found. We've not found any deep deposits. Really? Oh, there's a few anomalies though. Anomaly found. And that's a really big it's a very big key, isn't it? That's a big one. Okay, I think at the moment we are producing so much energy from these turbine upgrades that we've just did. I don't think we need to worry too much about the solar power energy. You know what? I think for micromanagement purposes, I think I prefer turbines over... <coughs> yeah, I think I prefer turbines over um, uh, solar panels. has died. Just thinning out the numbers, guys. 
Oh god. Oh my god, they're just falling in the street. He's a glutton. Man's double rations. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environs of the red. That's it, we've researched everything. Well, we've researched all the slots. Licensed copyrights of Ark of Earth. This was repeatable tech. Really expensive though. Project Morpheus stimulates the development of new perks in adults throughout the entire colony. Huh. No active research. Go for that one. Replaces removed floors with random perks. Mine melding. Does that actually require me to build anything? I don't think it does, does it? Take it easy. I always take it easy. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty much running to come to the end of this little uh, mini marathon that I've just done right now, guys. Um, it has been a pleasure. Thanks for everyone who's come by. Oh, deep deposits. There we go. Deep deposits of metal. And all I'm going to do is going to finish this wonder. And then that's it. This is my end game goal. So I've checked all the boxes. 500,000 colonists, construct a mega dome, construct a wonder. So the wonder's the bottom one. The mega dome. A colonist has died. Man, that food. That food disappears in an instant, doesn't it? I blinked and all that food had disappeared. Select a sector to scan. They won't have anything in them. These two, these ones. These ones. A colonist has died. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. A colonist has died. Okay, that's getting a little bit spammy now. A colonist has died. Oh my god, these were the first ones to build at the start of the game as well. Feels bad, Ben. I could get 18 games with some DLC for one, or one for twenty dollars. Resources are low. Oh, I'm not really sure what that's in context to. Yeah, I think if I was gonna do this again. I think I would go for wind turbines over solar panels. Solar panels, the problem with solar panels is I think they're more efficient. Yeah, I think, oh, what, what, we're low on power now? Oh, bollocks to it, who cares. We're building it, boys, we're building it. Isn't it a wonder? Isn't it a wonder? Sector scanned. Low on water? Oh, the dehydrated. Oh, we had a lot of power, I was about to say. Colonist has died. Uh, I guess we turn off these buildings, right? Oh, they need water anyway. Oh, who cares? Milestone Yay! We did it. Three breakthrough techs unlocked. Factory automation lowers the amount of factories need workers in factories. That's pretty good. Colonists gain 10 bonus work performance when all stats are in the green. That's nice. Dead colonists are converted to food. Ooh, tasty, solid green. Uh, colonists have a 50% chance to, to lose a floor on their journey to Mars. That's really bad. Awful tech. There you go, guys. We did it. Does this give us a bonus to research? Gives us a 20% boost to all our technology. That's cute. That's real cute. There you go, guys. We did it. There you go. Hey. hey. 
Uh, normally, I think the end game for the initial objective is 100 days, but then the, the crisis can go over 100 days. It depends on how long you want, the, you want the game to go. Maybe at some point there is a point where you do cut off and then there isn't, I don't know, maybe there's nothing else to do. But I've pretty much occupied and researched all the stuff. Oh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have an absolutely epic day. And I am going to leave you here. Good night. God bless. Peace out.